Okay, watching News X, I'm Rishabh Gulati. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a period of around eight months during the Second World War, which is called the Phony War, where the powers that be had declared war on each other, but nobody was doing anything. So in the current battle in Delhi, it's becoming difficult to predict or suggest or compute or analyze whether we are watching the storm abating because what had to happen has already happened or it's simply the calm before the storm because we haven't seen anything yet. Because on face value, if you just look at Delhi for the past few years, right before COVID, we had this anti-CAA protest. An entire part of Delhi was just blockaded for months. And then COVID happened and that fizzled out and nothing happened. Then you had the farmers protest. All the borders of Delhi sealed again for more than a year. Now, I doubt any of you watching this telecast can remember any of the names of the farmer leaders who organized that protest in Delhi. Very few. Maybe a takayat will come to mind, not really anybody else. Less will be able to name that when the farmers recently once again took the march on Delhi and were blockaded under humongous police presence. Literally, barricades with iron nails. That we can remember the names of any of those leaders because they came and they tried and then they maybe had some sort of agreement. We don't know, but they went away. In the first case, of course, the farm laws were indeed repealed before the Punjab elections. But the party that did well in Punjab, that leader, everybody, I'm sure, in the country knows the name, Arvind Kejriwal. And surely everybody in Delhi knows the name of Arvind Kejriwal. The party was a phenomenon. It was a phenomenon that began in Delhi. It, it, it didn't begin weekly. It began with a bang. It began with a sweep. And we've seen the evolution of Arvind Kejriwal as, a, as an activist, then as a political leader, as a chief minister who once used to sit on dharnas himself and then became a more seasoned politician to his very, very interesting phase of politics where he's been the person who has been sort of hitting all the notes right for a long period of time. And certainly he's the force that uh, a lot of people think is the future of Indian politics. As we speak, ladies and gentlemen, the Chief Minister of Delhi has been in jail. It's gone on from one week to two weeks to three weeks, may go on to four. His lawyers have had opportunity to represent him in court, to ask for bail. They've been repeatedly rejected. Today, the Aam Aadmi Party organized what they called was a worldwide solidarity fast. Part of it was happening in Jantar Mantar in New Delhi, where carders showed up and there were speeches and Gopal Rai and Atishi and Sanjay Singh and all the senior leaders uh, were there. Notably absent, of course, I believe Raghav Chadda is currently in, in the UK. Bhagwant Man, of course, is in Punjab. But beyond the fast, it's been pretty quiet. Now, like I said at the beginning, I don't know whether that's because the storm is abated or it's the calm before the storm. Let's find out. Let's open up this conversation. Joining us now on the broadcast, Dar Sharma representing the Ahmadbi Party, Shikhar Rai representing the BJP, Vineet Goenka is joining us, as is Gyanendra Mishra to help put the puzzle pieces together. So, Sadarji, let me let me start with you, because Sadarji, Delhi like it, not like it, I certainly don't like it, but has become used to very dogged protests, clogging up the streets, large marches. Now, since the arrest of your leaders, including your national convener and chief minister of Delhi, you organized a march on the PM's residence, which the Delhi police did not allow you. Today, you've done this fast. Uh, several of the senior leaders came, but it, it is almost seeming like tokenism, sir. Uh, I, I thought by now your carders will be all out on the streets and you know Delhi would be in a, in a, in a state of uh, political chaos. It doesn't seem like that. Why is your stratagem not to go all out? Uh, well, Rishabh, right at the outset, uh, let me ask you, is uh, Mr. Rishabh Gulati of the New Sex trying to instigate the people of Delhi to <laughs> create a chaos? Obviously not. So let us understand that today was a solidarity 
uh, show of solidarity. And uh, let me right now, at the, right at the outset, put on record that uh, this solidarity was shown across from 25 states and across the globe, many people also observed this upvas. This was an upvas thing. Now, you asked a very pertinent question that where is this, uh, what is this entire scenario panning out? Uh, I think this is an election in which people are asking for and they are also getting the definition of power. Is power is equal to punishment as BJP is exemplifying that despite the money trail being of rupees 60 crore received from an ED accused Mr. Sharat Reddy getting found at the doorstep of BJP, still BJP goes ahead and jails a competent chief minister despite the Supreme Court saying in the uh, Sanjay Singh say, case that there is uh, no money trail with Amadhi party. Or is power is equal to service? The way Arvind Kejriwal is exemplifying by ser serving the people of India in spite of being forcibly jailed, like uh, Sita was done. The example here being that just day before, two, three days ago, he spoke about the Delhi water crisis and yesterday the Supreme Court uh, released the Delhi Jail Board funds. So it is now becoming very clear to the people that what is the definition of power? Power is equal to punishment or power is equal to service. BJP is exemplifying power as punishment. Amadmi Party is exemplifying power as something as a service because we know every educated person knows that a government is supposed to serve the punishment authorities, only the courts here, neither Modi ji nor the government of India, nor BJP government, nor the police station of India, nor any inspector of India can punish anyone. The only punishing authority is the court. Now, BJP has taken over the mantle of itself that I am going to punish everybody. Now, if you are going to punish everybody, if I am sending my son to a school, I am sending that my son to the school to get good numbers from him. I don't care the teacher who punishes other, other students, other naughty children. That is not why I send my children to school. Now, this again, I, I come back to the point that this is isn't BJP's war against corruption anymore. This is BJP's war against competence. Now, what has happened is that in electoral bonds clearly showed that BJP is a Brashtachari party. Arresting Arvind Kejriwal has showed BJP as an Atyachari party also. Okay, so all right. Sanjay, but let me, let me ask you the practical question that. because this is the conversation and I'm a Delhiite. It's a, it's a very strange thing that is happening because as you've stated the facts and we put the facts on record, Arvind Kejriwal is currently under arrest when an investigation process is on, an investigation is not over, forget having a trial and a conviction. We're not even close to any of that. This is an investigation that is uh, currently happening, right? So Arvind Kejriwal has not been convicted of anything. But at the point of view, currently the conversation topic in Delhi is not whether Arvind Kejriwal is guilty or not guilty, which you rightly said the courts will decide. The conversation topic is that we are about to go into elections Potentially, in which at least until the first phase starts, Arvind Kejriwal will not have campaigned anywhere. But on the other hand, he would have gotten a lot of mileage from having been in jail. So, does it suit you? Obviously, it doesn't suit anybody, uh, Rishabh. That if, uh, if you ask Sita if she was she enjoyed Ravana's uh, 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 jail in Ashok Vatika, obviously she would say no. But that's not the point. That's the point that that is coming across very clearly that BJP, instead of serving people, is going ahead and punishing people. It has, as I said, it has taken on a uh, self-styled mantle on itself that I am going to punish all the people in India. That's not what governments are supposed to do. The governments are just supposed to serve. It's like an Airtel, any mobile data. When I ask, uh, when I pay money to a mobile company, they give me data, they don't give me sermons. The company are supposed, just like that, every person, every activity, even the smallest uh, economic acti activity that I do, I pay a tax to the government. The okay. government is supposed to serve me. The government is not supposed to punish me. It's as simple as that. Okay. And that definition- Okay, Sanarji, but, but it, it is a, it is a honest and a practical question. It's not, it's not motivated at all. It's it's a very practical question. Have you guys sat down and actually decided? Because I remember when the arrest was taking place and within a couple of hours, the traffic was open because you have the conundrum and I, and I appreciate the conundrum. When there is pollution happening and Delhi is coming for Punjab, obviously it's a conundrum. It's not an easy one. But have you decided that you don't want to inconvenience the people of Delhi, but at the same time, you want to make a principled point. You are conducting protests, but they are not even to the scale of the farmers' protests which we have seen in Delhi our, our, ourselves. Have you taken a cogent decision on how to balance out the argument you are putting on the streets? I think obviously that point we would agree to because we accept that, uh, as you rightly said, we are not here to instigate people. Let us also understand that uh, we are all, also a government in Delhi. We are supposed to serve. 
despite uh, the bjp doing whatever antics it is doing it can it can force arvind kejriwal into a jail but it cannot stop arvind kejriwal or the delhi cabinet or the delhi mla mla 62 of us from serving the people so we we are going to serve the people and that will go on continuing now we also have to understand that with these kind of things when elections are around the corner we know the answer is going to come from the people yes when the answer is going to come from the people we, we okay. are okay uh, so i are, i don't know it. i can just state the facts the i can tell you right. that the liquor gate charges are not new they've been around for the past 18 months that in in the interim there has been a municipal election at that point of time, the Aam Aadmi Party did very well in the municipal election. So during the time of the municipal election, nobody really bought the logic that the Aam Aadmi Party and all its top leaders are corrupt, uh, let alone the national convener. Whether that has changed now, I don't know. We'll find out. But there's a lot of curiosity at what is going on. And Vineet Goenka, before I, I, I get in the BJP spokesperson, now people are finding it very difficult to digest, purely from an administrative point of view, that people in the MHA, people in high levels of government were simply unaware that the EDA is going to today, tonight go and arrest Arvind Kejriwal and the strategy on how they will argue the case in court, that this is incidental, that nobody in government is aware of this, is all incidental, which would only include that people in government are aware, whether they're ordering it or not is a point of, point of debate, but certainly they would be aware that this arrest would be, would be happening. What is the benefit here for the BJP? in ordering the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal and making him a conversation topic and a hero to many people at this point of time when Delhi is important, those seven seats are important for you, for the BJP at the centre. Rishabh ji, Ram Ram to you, Ram Ram to all my co-panelists and all the viewers who are watching us right now. Before I answer your question, I should make six points so that people understand the merits of what I'm going to tell you. One, I had seen Arvind Kejriwal ji sitting on fast along with Anna Hazare in 2012-2013 against Sonia Gandhi, Lalu, Pawar, basically all those whom he had called corrupt and he had some evidences against them. Then what we saw is, he also claimed that he had proof so that they should be hanged, they should be executed immediately. Why are we waiting? We heard his slogans, his, his speeches where he claimed that if somebody is claiming that they are corrupt, they should have been hanged. That's what his, he said. Then what I saw in the last 10 years is, he apologized after making allegations on the people. He took U-turn uh, when he promised some things. And then what he did is a simple way of blame it on others, whether he has to blame it to the central government, to the LG, IS, and when it was not uh, doing, then he blamed it on the nature. He said, you know, nature is responsible for the pollution. What can I do? What I see him today in 2024 is that he is collided. He is along with those people whom he was blaming in 2013, be it be Lalu, be it be Sonia, or he's also with uh, anti-social elements like, you know, Tahir and Amaritullah Khan who have been uh, seen as to be anti-social anti elements. They have been uh, responsible for rights. They have been uh, given punishment by the court or he has collided and got involved in the leaker scandal. Now, last one more thing your people, your viewers should know is that this is a classic case of dynasty making. And I see now his wife, Sunita Ji, coming and sitting on the chair of CM, even when she has not been appointed as CM. Anyway, that is his choice. Uh, what I see is the wolf in the tiger scheme, uh, what I can say. To answer your particular question, yes, let us distinction two things. You know, uh, sir, administration is separate and the government is separate. In the day-to-day -day matter of who should be arrested, what will be the impact of the arrest, is discussed with one agency, another agency, and I'm sure in that MH is also involved. But will the political bosses, will the executive be involved? I doubt that. You understand administration more than me. You have seen uh, Delhi on all these circuits. But what I understand is executives are consulted only if it is something which is anti-national or it is terrorist uh, activities and they are going to strike on that. But into this kind of cases where somebody has been arrested for you know his involvement in corruption or his involvement in some kind of you know uh, things which calls for law and order action, uh, I doubt whether the executives have been done. And even if it's done... But Vineet Ji, very people, uh, you might be convinced, it might be the truth, I don't know. But many people are going to find it very difficult to digest that for 18 months an investigation was going on. The arrest could have happened three months later, it could have happened three months ago. To happen just a month, I mean, electoral campaigning for the first phase ends next week. To happen exactly at this time is a coincidence, it's just happenstance, they, it was just on ED's timetable, it just... It just smacks his odd. For this thing, if you see, uh, he responsibility lies on Arvind Kejibal. He was given the first summon when. 
he was supposed to go and attend it. Had he attended the first summon, he would have clarified. Maybe he would not have been arrested. Maybe he would have been arrested. I don't know that. But he deliberately chose the route, which is wrong route, of not attending the summons and the meetings with the ED. So ED was forced to come to his doors. You know, what do you do when you, you know, somebody you know defies eight, nine summons? So I think he chose this time. It was not chosen by the agency. Chosen uh, agency had given him the summon when somewhere okay. in November, December. So he could have okay. easily. All right. No, no, that is true. He could have uh, showed up for the summons. It is also true, as I mentioned already, that he has representation in a court, and it's mm -hmm. the court that has denied him bail. A court has yes. to meet certain criteria that you cannot influence the investigation and there are three, four criteria for getting bail. Uh, the court is not convinced. Now, you can't say that the court is also bought out and the ED is also bought out. I mean, you can make arguments, but it, after a point, they, 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 they seem hollow. But it is very, very intriguing what is happening. And for that, let me get Gyanendra Mishra into this. Mishra ji, before I get the BJP spokesperson in, I'm, what do you think is going on? Because the Aam Aadmi Party certainly has the wherewithal in Punjab and in Delhi, it has a large cadre base. It has a lot of enthusiastic volunteers and supporters. It still has leadership. We haven't really seen Bhagwant Man come out on the streets and you know lead a march to Delhi. The farmers' march was far more aggressive uh, than his march. Uh, it's is it the calm before the storm, or is it is it uh, that the whatever had to happen has happened? Rasabji, the way I look at it is, you know, that it is an strategic planning of the Aam Aadmi Party. Because as you rightly said, the election is around the corner and the first phase is now almost in the full steam. So what, Aam, what Aam, the Aam Aadmi Party is, seems to be planning is not to waste the energy of the carder in organizing the protest in Delhi or in other parts of the country, including Punjab. Rather than they are exhorting through, you know, as today is Upwas, as you see, where all the top leader is addressing and trying to energize and revitalize the cadre to fan out everywhere across the country. And not only where the Amandi Party's candidate is fighting the election for all India Alliance partners to go door to door, exercise their full, you know, access, energy and accents towards helping and campaigning for various India partners candidate across the country. So that, that seems to be to bring the focus of agitations in a way that gets the maximum media visibility, which is happening. So are you, you saying see? that the stratagem is that uh, there's no rush for a Raghav Chadda to rush back to India? There is no need for a Bhagwant Man to rush to Delhi or, or organize large protests. There are protests happening. But uh, you can make a judgment call whether we consider these a large protests or not. That instead, it is fine to have Arvind Kejriwal in jail and not be actively campaigning. He is the face of the party. It's not Bhagwant Man. It's not, no offense, it's not Gopal Rai. It's not Sanjay Singh. The face of the party is Arvind Kejriwal. That it's okay to, for him to be in jail and sending up some letters and messages once in a while while the carders are out and working and, and, and that wins them votes. Yep, that, that, seems to, that seems to be a strategy to me and I think that it is working. See, on your show, on the News X, I said, you know, that that was my view that the arrest of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal obviously was decided by uh, ED and the government in power. But I think one of the strategy of Aam Aadmi Party was that if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, and because that is the only explanation for uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, you know, but not responding to the successive summons by ED, because that is obvious that if you are most logical conclusion or the Corollary is that if you are not responding at all to the successive summon of an investigative agency, ultimately they will come and arrest you. Yes, and 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 no, the court will come to your door. Yeah, and, and, and I think and, I and think the court will arrest. and the court will give you custody, even if for a week or two. How long that custody is for, we don't know. Uh, but yes. before, yeah, but before so, I get the BJP in, let me. Let, the reason we're having this conversation, ladies and gentlemen, because whether he is guilty or not, we will not know before June fourth. No chance. Okay. So whether there is actually some criminal corruption or not, we will not know till the elections are over. So right now it is only about perception, whether you think he is a victim or do you think he's a criminal, okay? It's all about perception right now. It's all about organization right now. And organization matters. And of course, proof of the pudding is the irony of Delhi that the Aam Aadmi Party sweeps the state. 
but narendra modi has swept the lok sabha seven out of seven twice and hoping for a third term the difference this time being that the aam aadmi party and and the congress have an agreement which they did not have last time around 4 is to 3 so now let me get uh into the conversation shikhar ai of the bjp shikhar ji now we know that there is no chance of a court pronouncing a ruling in the next week or two weeks on whether arvind kejriwal is guilty or not guilty but do you think that he has gotten a lot of mileage out of his arrest and that actually suits him many people for him they he's a hero he's a victim well rishabh ji i think that uh, the time that uh, he chose to be arrested uh, in the same way he must have thought that uh, it will suit him uh, because uh, as suggested he could have uh, you know appeared before the ed earlier and all this could have happened earlier also but i think it was by his design only that uh, he chose this timing only i think thinking that uh, there'll be an uproar there would be an uproar there would be protests there would be something kind of an andolan in the uh, in delhi and that it might help him in the coming elections but i think nothing uh, has happened uh, the way he wanted it to be or the aam aadmi party even i think within their party there is no uh, such kind of a voice as i hear about uh, of course in the very beginning for uh, some one or two days uh, they uh, protested or some kind of this but otherwise Uh, as they have seen but, that but shikha ji is that time, is yes. that to your assessment and you are a political opponent in delhi you're trying to win the same seats the amani party is to your assessment is that the inability incompetence in organizing a cadre based protest or is it a species of thought that this is what we don't want to do see i think they must have thought it the other way but as the people of delhi have understood that see when he was chief minister he could have said many things to the people uh, false promises or anything now that as an accused is in jail people have understood uh, you know their uh, real character their real face and i don't know when he says that no no even after being jail i'll be uh, running the government and in fact you know for the last days when he was in jail only this is being said that he would run the government from jail there is no comment kind of thing that is being governed run in the delhi there is no governance there are no uh, you know decisions being taken for uh, are being taken for by the aam aadmi party I, I don't know i i, I don't know what i can tell you that there is no, no rule they, barring they, somebody they, from being in custody and forcing that person to resign there may not be any at rules, the same but, time it is very unconventional for somebody to be in jail and continue to hold on to a constitutional post it is unconventional but there's no rule against it okay shikha ji they, they might not shikha ji is it convenient no rule, is it convenient for both you and the aam aadmi party bjp aam aadmi party congress everybody else that actually the real issue was the electoral bonds which is the cat amongst the pigeons set before you by the supreme court and all of this What? is a distraction to keep the rest of us busy so that we don't See, poke our nose there no 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 see the first summon uh, that was uh, sent to mr kg wall was in the month of october so it is nothing to do with electoral bonds and this liquor scam as we all know it dates back uh, in the year 2022 so it, it of course the ed the investigative agency it has to establish a case only then a summon could have gone to mr kg wall it went he avoided of course he was he had to be arrested because he was avoiding uh, summons so okay. all this procedure that has taken place is all because but why is the scam. why is the record of the enforcement agencies in the past 10 years so weak i mean ma'am i mean uh, you know we saw the congress people coming out in support of arvind kejriwal i remember the cwg scam was a major deal uh, coal scam uh, 2g scam the 2g scam people all acquitted all back to parliament uh, you heard what a raja is currently doing you heard what kani modi is currently doing they are all back that, there were no convictions so, uh, see con case is still going on uh, it is not that ed has left those investigations or have shut down the cases the investigation must have been going on on many aspects uh, more cwg happened in so, 2008 right, but it does very true but it doesn't mean that we can say that ed is not doing anything or ed should not do more of anything because they have not done Uh, anything in the past that was with the past uh, government regime May the regime has changed so it is become more effective so okay. uh, we cannot say that because they did not okay but uh, but the track record the of case. convicting politicians let's not kid ourselves i can think of lalu yadav who's been convicted i can think of uh, yeah, jay lalita after her death who was who yes. was convicted 
but uh, but everybody else is exonerated yeah, those but investigations think, don't seem to end i don't understand why it's very odd uh, so uh, yes but i think in the future uh, uh, the things are going to change okay all right um, shikha ji there may be a lot of convictions shikha ji the the policy obviously was withdrawn so there was something wrong in the policy we don't know what was wrong but there was something wrong the government itself withdrew the policy but this was a Legal matter policy. before the mcd elections in delhi in which the aam aadmi party did very well now everybody knew liquor scam by the time of mcd elections but the voters were not convinced that arvind kejriwal is corrupt why do you think that has no. changed in the past one year no 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 by th- that time we were only alleging we said that there is a scam but only after investigation it has come to the public light now as to what all uh, happened in this scam and that is why the arrest and the summons are you know uh, given now we we of course yes we took this uh, uh, scam to the people and actually stopped this you know at that time to happen it more when it was all uh, uh, you know given all the thekas to all people in every non confirming area confirming area okay. bjp took it to the streets okay. yes definitely let it me let me get sharma ji back in this con sharma ji now you organized today a worldwide protest i'm sure you are aware avail uh, aware of the kinds of places where the protests being organized in brampton in vancouver now with all due respect sir uh, the us president is con- currently facing trial for the first time a former us president is facing trial on criminal charges for the first time why is organizing protests internationally for you something that is going to resonate with the indian voters how are the people in brampton many of whom are not friends of india who want india to be broken up into into pieces why would they why would these people influence the indian voter well you just forgot to mention finland also in uh, far away lapland but uh, i don't think india's finland act. is a friend who should be interfering in our domestic <laughs> policy sir let alone the politics of the aam aadmi party but that's your choice i'm trying no, to figure so, out why finland why melbourne why vancouver why brampton why protests happening here i can understand delhi karnataka Uh, punjab but why vancouver and brampton and finland and melbourne uh why ab ki baar trump sarkar by modi ji in united states why everywhere you know modi ji goes there is duniya mein danka baj raha so let's not get into that uh, in fact i wanted to uh, comment uh, uh, respect you uh, I, i i i simply wanted to pay my respects to you rishab for asking a really correct question to the bjp spokesperson which obviously if i was a bjp spokesperson i would have found it difficult that how come that uh, 25 minutes after the supreme court came up with a website on the of the data of the uh, electoral bond beneficiaries arvind kejriwal gets arrested was it to throw uh, journalists like you off the track that question was a very clear giveaway anyway uh, i'm trying to give you one or two pointers here the, these are facts i think you it will also answer a lot of your questions without me so, uh, uh, saying so uh, fact number 1 arvind kejriwal as of now till date has not sought bail in any court in fact in a court uh, in the first uh, uh, appearance itself he said to the rouse avenue court that ed can keep me for as long as possible so that is a fact he is just challenging the ed's powers to interrogate and arrest and this matter right now is sub judis it is under consideration of the judiciary second point you asked one of the bjp spokesperson or i know i know i think you asked one of the um, uh, independent analyst whether when when somebody is arrested like mr arvind kejriwal other executive bodies other uh, different arms of the government come to know about it or not uh, who the, the point you were asking is when you arrest somebody who knows what and who does not i'll tell you a very interesting an uh, example here and it's a fact uh, lalit modi ran away from india from an ed case represented by miss basuri swaraj who is bjp's candidate for new delhi and right now represents paradoxically represents enforcement directorate against mr sanjay singh so bjp essentially is running with the hare and hunting with the hound at the Sir, same time you know It, you know the the you know you had a very famous founding father of your party whom you no longer friends with prashant bhushan uh, there are many leaders in the congress party from the sibbles to the singhvis who are also prominent I'm, lawyers so i i i it's a complicated argument to have okay so let, let me uh, since you since yeah, you not answered my first question i have a follow i have a follow up question Rishabh, why have you not sought bail sir why an arvind kejriwal who did not go to any summons by the ed now when he is actually in custody not seeking relief of bail from the courts 
people would argue logically, practically, that you want him to be behind bars. You wanted that photograph which is behind your screens because that's how you think you win votes. इसको हिंदी में जवाब देते हैं सर कि आप रावण जब सीता को जबरदस्ती हरण करके अपनी जेल में रख लेता है तो सीता क्या करती है सीता कुछ नहीं करती पालथी मार के बैठ जाती है अब पीछे से वानर सेना आएगी और वानर सेना को जो करना है करेगा सीता हियर सीता हियर रिप्रेजेंट डिसेंसी एंड द वानर सेना रिप्रेजेंट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी करोर पीपल ऑफ इंडिया प्लेड आउट ओके because you know you and i both practically know it is logistically practically the enforcement directorate may come up with supplementary charges and etc but for a trial and conviction to be completed in the next couple of weeks is probably not going to happen right so this is now a perception battle so is the battle over i mean have the people to decide whether he is guilty not guilty victim or 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 a martyr or actually a thief is the battle over or is it just beginning i'll answer you bishop ji but there are two three points which i would i should make on siddharthi's uh, comments one those who have paid more than 25 crore rupees to one of the leader of congress who in his professional capacity defended them uh, in the liquor case cannot question other professional lawyers what they have been done so that is incorrect and i don't have the data but last which i had got was into october 2022 was plus 25 rupees if you if he wants or you want i can name the congress leader whom they had hired as lawyer so when lawyers they present they do it professionally actually we should not get into that anyway uh, rishabh no, you i made that point that is correct that's an honest point it's a correct point and yeah. all the lawyers who represent them will also agree with that point it's a it's yeah. a professional argument is different yeah and number 2 let me tell you arvind kejriwal is a mastermind and i agree this on your show today he is a mastermind he used good people like anna hazare prashant bhushan and kumar vishwas he also used anti social elements like tahir and amatullah khan for himself and he also used ed's timing of his arrest to his benefit it's a good plan by with a bad intention you know he's a perfect okay, but case but my question was is it is it is it over is 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 the battle Now over or the battle for delhi just beginning decide. either you nor me nor lawyers nor anybody else would know about this timing okay. it will be only the court okay. uh, the okay. charges so i leave the last question again with gan in the last line thank yes. you permit yes please those who have forced 18 year kids in addiction those who have forced them into liquor should be punished not only prescribed in the law but if there is something okay. prescribed in the moral right. rules it should okay. be okay all right so let me get gyanendra mishra gyanendra mishra ji like it or not for the people of delhi is the issue now arvind kejriwal is it simply whether you believe is guilty or a victim or is the issue still about national issues and 370 and caa and farmers or local development or is it simply an election about whether you think kejriwal is guilty or not guilty and and where does the congress fit in all of this because they'll be contesting a couple of seats as well i believe that you know that the bjp's decision to arrest get mr kejriwal arrested has boomeranged on uh, it now as you see the arrest of arvind kejriwal is the talk of the town every corner of the town every tea stall you go you will see people talking about his arrest particularly after sanjay singh coming out and going hammer and thong against the government you know it has become the central point of discussion at least in delhi and the people are not talking about you know that the excessiveness it seems to seems an excessiveness of the part of the government Uh, through the ed and the other agencies to persecute and prosecute the opposition might leader. be or and might I be or some that, people might think i don't know we'll find out when delhi votes but my question was yes. is this the issue or is it still the issue about mosquitoes and flooding and flyovers and population and green areas and pollution and the smoke that we will have to breathe again in november so i think that should be and i believe that people are also strongly feeling about it the issues that you have talked about but whether we like or not mr arvind kejriwal's arrest is the most potent topic right now whether we like it or not okay so uh, allow me process. then to be cynical ladies and gentlemen come october november the people of delhi will once again people of north india actually will once again be choking in smoke okay uh, if you think infrastructure issues in delhi are being well handled we are a lot to be desired the aam aadmi party many of his leaders are becoming very similar to other political leaders in simply passing the buck that mcd couldn't do this others couldn't do this they have stopped us they prevented us uh, that's an unhappy thing to happen and the protest in delhi today has been about the arrest of arvind kejriwal the counter protest by the bjp 
has also been on the same subject. Who actually is campaigning on the development of Delhi or national issues in Delhi, in the national capital, I no longer know. So is this the topic? Yeah, this has become the topic. Does it probably suit both the major parties? It probably does. Does it make the Congress in the most awkward position because they've got no subject to campaign about? Uh, probably does. How does this play out? Well, you'll decide in a few days. I thank my guest. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.